And to that end, I'm announcing today that upon taking office, I will formally notify Mexico and Canada of my intention to invoke the six-year renegotiation provisions of the USMCA that I put in. That was the hardest thing I had to get. They didn't want that. They wanted to have it long. But I wanted to, because there's always like little tricks they want to play. I said, nope, I want to be able to renegotiate in six years. Otherwise, we're not making the deal. And I got it. And it's coming due very soon. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> and that'll address these concerns. And I'll also seek strong new protections against transshipment so that China and other countries cannot smuggle their products and auto parts into the United States tax-free <laughs> through Mexico. To the detriment of our workers and our supply chains, they smuggle this stuff in. They don't pay anything. We're going to have very strong language on that. It's not hard once you know about it, but nobody, no politician knows about it. You know, and, and when they signed the NAFTA deal, there were some mistakes made, typos, like typos. There were mistakes made, and they were going to take care of it the following day. Thirty years later, they said, whatever happened? Like mistakes, like on the numbers, you know? which were always against us. Nobody ever did anything about it except me. I terminated NAFTA. That's a pretty big thing. A lot of people said it would be impossible to do. I got it done. And uh, we have a great deal now. What we have to do is make it much better even. And we'll be able to do that very shortly. But while I have the Build It in America plan, Kamala Harris has the Build It in China plan. This is really a Build It in China plan. She's going to destroy our country. Her plan is so stupid. Every policy she is rewards companies for shipping jobs overseas. Most significantly, Kamala is a giant tax hiker. The tax queen, they call her, is demanding a shocking, I don't even, to be honest with you, after watching her on 60 Minutes and on watching that horrible statement that she made, they call it a word salad. I don't really like those words because it was really worse than that. But but after watching that, I don't think she's interested in 33. I don't think she has any idea what's happening, okay? I think she's dumber than hell. 